Okay, welcome to another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes, and today we are headed to Poland, and we're going to stop right there. This is uh, Europe, everything you see with yellow boundaries here. Poland is considered part of Eastern Europe, and you could kind of draw a straight line, an imaginary line right down here. And here's Poland right here. It's surrounded by Germany, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Ukraine, and Belarus, Lithuania, and Kaliningrad. And this is the Baltic Sea to the north. So it's being influenced by a lot of countries. And the fantasy dream homes we're going to be looking at today are located in more than one city. Most of them are located in Warsaw, but there is at least one of them located in Krakow, which is down here, and in other cities. So Poland is officially known as the Republic of Poland. The history of humans in Poland goes back almost 500,000 years. It's the sixth largest economy in European Union and the 10th largest in all of Europe. There's over 38 million people in Poland, and it's got an area of over 120,000 square miles or 312,000 square kilometers. Poland is slightly smaller than the U.S. state of New Mexico. So Polish is the official language, naturally, and more than 50% of the Polish citizens claim to be able to speak English, uh, followed by 38% who can speak German and 34% who can speak Russian. The climate is mostly temperate throughout the country. Uh, the climate is oceanic in the north and west and becomes gradually warmer and continental towards the south and east. Summers are generally warm with average temperatures between 18 and 30 degrees Celsius, or that'd be 64.4 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the region. Winters are rather cold with average temperatures of around 3 degrees Celsius, so that'd be about 37 degrees Fahrenheit in the northwest and 6 degrees Celsius or 21 degrees Fahrenheit in the northeast. Tourist attractions include, and we're going to we're going to recommend this website right here, Poland.travel slash en. It's the best uh, that uh, I I stumbled upon in my research on Poland. So if you want tourist information uh, based on different cities, you can see here that they've got all the major cities, or by region. And they're going to have everything you need to do, places to stay, places to eat, uh, things to see. So check out this website. And as always, we'll put that in the show notes. Specifically, tourist information we would recommend because there's a lot of things. I've never been to Poland. would love to go. A lot of places to go, a lot of places to see. One of the places uh, we would recommend is the Main Market Square. Uh, dating back to the 13th century, the main market square in the old town in Krakow is the largest medieval town square in Europe and one of the main tourist attractions in Poland. The square is surrounded by historical townhouses, historic buildings, palaces, and churches. Then there's the Wileka Salt Mine, and I apologize, I might not be getting all these names straight, but I'm getting them as good as I know how. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments. Just 20 minutes from Krakow's Old Town Square on the outskirts of Krakow is the Wileka Salt Mine. Salt has been mined from this site continuously since the 13th century. Uh, this is really cool, and you'll see in these photographs, the site features an underground city all carved out of the rock salt, including a chapel that is said to have the best acoustics of any structure in Europe. Dozens of ancient and contemporary sculptures carved from salt are showcased. And there's uh, one more thing I'd like to show you, and that is about a Polish entertainer who I happen to be a great fan of, and, and many people do, and her name is Baja. And she is a Polish singer, songwriter, recording artist noted for her Latin-style jazz pop form of music. And I'm talking about Baja Trechilevska. So she signed with Epic Records in the mid-'80s and was played on fairly heavy rotation of radio stations into the mid-'90s in the U.S. Her first two albums, Time and Tide, London, Warsaw, New York, were platinum-certified million-unit sellers. 
During that period, her biggest hits were Time and Tide, New Day for You, Promises, Baby You're Mine, Cruising for Bruising, and Drunk on Love. So we invite you to join our Facebook page, the Baja Trechilevska Fan Club. And all you have to do is, I know that's an impossibly difficult name to spell, but uh, that's why I got it uh, listed up here for you. So you can just uh, copy it as we go along. And it'll be in the show notes, so you can just simply click on it. Um, on our YouTube page. So join us on the fan page. we got more than 2,000 people strong that are posting their comments and uh, posting all kinds of information. She is a tough nut to crack because it is so hard to find information about her. She doesn't tour that often. She is well worth listening to. Highly, highly recommend you go on Spotify or whoever your music carrier is and and Listen to some of her better-known songs, like I just mentioned. Check her out. I think you're really going to like her. Please join us over on our Facebook club, and we hope to see you there, and we hope you leave some comments and join us. Thanks. And if you cannot afford to travel to Poland and you want some excellent Polish cuisine, we are going to recommend Kramarczyk's Delicatessen in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's been in business since 1954, and they also have an online store here. And just to give you an idea, first of all, it's not just you know meats and deli items. You could also get baked goods there as well. And it's also a restaurant where you can go in and sit down, and they'll have tables and chairs and things like that. But just to give you an idea of some of their absolutely amazing choices when you look at the sausages, you can get Polish, you can get Italian, it's not just all Polish. You can get Ukrainian, you can get kielbasa or Swedish, you can get brats, you know. So they're going to have every style imaginable, and the food is truly exceptional. I highly, highly recommend it. I try to get there about every second or third time I visit the Twin Cities. So... Kramarczyk's Deli, and like I said, you can order online. Highly recommended that you check it out. Today's real estate website is Hamilton May, and I had a real tough time finding a real estate site for Poland. And first I wanted to, to exclusively look in the city of Warsaw, but the properties, the property values, I just wasn't finding a lot of multi-million dollar properties. And you're going to see that when we start looking at the homes, you're going to see the Hamilton May watermark on all the pictures. It really annoys the heck out of me, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's surprising how many countries don't have really good uh, websites with uh, pictures that have not been marked. Um, Brazil, for example. I, I've been dying to have, like, San, uh, Sao Paulo or uh, Rio de Janeiro, but I can't find a real good work, real estate website to work with. Um, this Hamilton May website, it's a good one. They've been working in the Poland area since 2004, and the quality of their photographs is pretty good, uh, except you know for the watermark, which I can't stand, but there's nothing I can do about it. I couldn't find another single real estate website where I was going to have watermarks all over the photos. So I apologize for that, but it's the best that we could do. So um, you can thank Hamilton and May if you're looking for a property. They apparently are the place to look for in Poland. And the currency that you're going to see in Polish dollars, if you will, and it's not, it's the Zlotek is, Zlotek is the official currency of Poland. And they abbreviate it as PLN, PLN. So in every house description at the top, we always like to feature the local currency first because that's what it's in. And then we convert it to all these other well-known world currencies. As of this recording date, Poland does not use the euro as its currency. They use the Zlotyk. So, so everything is going to be priced in the Zlotyk, which is, again, abbreviated as PLN. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get on to our first fantasy dream home. We're going to click right here. 
Okay, so this first house we're going to be looking at is going for almost 1.5 million Zlodike. It is three bedrooms, two bathrooms. The interior space is a little over 1,100 square feet. The lot size is unknown. The build date is unknown. And let's check out this first fantasy dream home. Okay, so our second house is going for a little over 1.6 million Zlotic. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms, interior space is a little over 1,500 square feet. The lot size is unknown. It was built in 2007. Let's check out this next fantasy dream home.
Okay, so our third house is going for two million Zlatic. It is three bedrooms, two bathrooms. The interior space is a little over 1,600 square feet. The lot size is unknown. The built date is unknown. Let's check out this next fantasy dream home. Okay, so house number four is going for 10 million Zlatic. It's five bedrooms, five bathrooms. Interior space is getting close to 9,000 square feet. The lot size is unknown. It was built in 2008. Let's check out this next fantasy dream home.
Have you visited our location over on Pinterest? Well, you should, because if you like looking at ultra-luxury homes and admiring world-class architecture and design, then you're sure to love our Pinterest page. Wallow in the luxury of the uber-wealthy and enjoy perusing through hundreds of top-quality picks on our boards that cover all aspects of today's luxury homes. Some of the board topics include magnificent master bedrooms, ultimate master bathrooms, kitchen ideas for luxury homes, luxury home offices, enchanted gardens, luxury dressing rooms and walk-in closets, world-class home appliances, butler's pantries, living room decor, reading rooms, architecture styles of homes, even baby nurseries for luxury homes is one of our boards. Visit us and follow us on Pinterest today. Okay, so our fifth fantasy dream home is going for 4,500,000, three bedrooms, two bathrooms. The interior space is a little over 1,800 square feet. It is an apartment, so there is no lot size. The built date is unknown. Let's check out this next fantasy dream home. All right, our sixth and final fantasy dream home today is going for 24 million Zlodike. It is six bedrooms, five bathrooms. Interior space is over 10,000 square feet. It's sitting on a lot of almost 50 acres. The built date is unknown. Let's check out this sixth 
and final fantasy dream home of the day. Okay, so that wraps up another edition of Fantasy Dream Homes. We hope you enjoyed it and you have a good time. If you like our YouTube channel, we certainly hope you do. Please like, share, and subscribe and become an active member of our community by commenting and watching all of our videos. Click the bell to be notified of future videos that are going to be coming up. And also, please support us on Patreon. We can only get about one of these out about every two weeks. We'd like to increase the frequency of those. And and we'd certainly like to feature your country, if you're in another country, and your city, no matter where you are in the world, whether in the United States, Canada, Australia, England, New Zealand, it doesn't matter. We're going to try to feature everybody everywhere at some point. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. So until then, keep smiling, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.